Hello everybody. Question, is this cupcake made by man with the assistance of an oven or machine? Let's find out in today's video. You know, when it comes to making cupcakes, you normally use a cupcake tin uh, just like that, but not today oh, because this is the deep fill cupcake maker. Uh, I have literally had this gadget in my house for about a day, which is not the typical uh, lifespan of a gadget in my room, as you know, but I was bombarded uh, with requests for this. I think probably with the Christmas coming up, loads of you guys wanted to know if it was a legitimate thing to get. So today we are gonna do that. I've just been to the shops and got some ingredients. The important thing today, folks, is not that we're gonna use cupcake mix. It's just to compare it versus the actual machine. So uh, let's get the same mix twice. Pretty certain we've got about 10 billion of these at home, but just in case. Well, like I mentioned, today's video is not about the actual cupcake recipe itself. I've done loads before uh, here on the channel. It's not about uh, Amy drinking her water bowl. It's simply about one, does this work better than the standard method? Is it quicker? Does it taste different? We're gonna find out. I'm kind of excited because I get to eat two lots of cupcakes. Oh yes. Simply pour some mixture, close the lid, relax. Ah. And let the cupcake maker do all the hard work. The cupcake maker will let you know when your cakes are ready with a buzzing noise. Nice. So it basically takes the effort out of it, especially if you've got a ready-made mix like I have. You can do this hopefully in the speed of an eye. Is that the phrase? Speed of an eye? Quick of an eye? Speed of a flash? Quickly. J.M. Posner, that's who's made it, for the home. Okay, cool, never come across that company before. Uh, we open it up, a little bit of that. We'll give this a clean and hopefully, well, we can make six nice little troughs there for our cases to fit in. Let's see if they fit in there first of all. Yeah. Actually, taking a look at it a bit closer, uh, you can see that I was kind of thinking that the cupcake cases probably need to go as high as the metal bit. And then, is that gonna squish them? I don't know. I guess that doesn't contact, there must be a heating element too. Um, we'll find out. I mean, it closes. That's the good thing. Six and six. Batter up. Okay, uh, so I haven't checked with the machine yet, but I'd imagine there's gonna be a preheat setting on it. But most cupcakes uh, get baked at 160C, uh, so I will preheat my oven in the interest of fairness. But interestingly, uh, from when I read the packaging just then, I haven't looked at the instructions fully yet, but it says these cupcakes are made in minutes. Uh, a standard cupcake in the oven in the tray here should take normally about 15 minutes. So it could have the time. Hmm. All right, so one of my favorite hacks of all time, just a standard ice cream scoop, is normally enough for a cupcake. And then you get some of it on your work surface. Amazing. I normally fill them about three quarters high, just in case you're interested. All right, so uh, that is our bog standard cupcakes done. Oven's preheating, let's get them out of the way. Important, should a cake fail to show the results desired, there may be several reasons for it. <laughs> so they're putting blame back on you guys. Place the cupcake mix into the center of the cupcake cases. Okay. All right, the oven is preheated. Good work, dude, good work. Try to complete this as soon as possible to ensure even cooking. Hang on a sec, should I have put it in? Should I have preheated it? No, 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 really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> No! So just like preheating an oven, we have to preheat this too. But I think we'll be all right. Oh no, we won't. Okay. Okay. No, not you, because you're part of the test, so. So I'm just gonna carefully stick them in another cupcake tin just for the time being. Whilst we preheat this. You know, from looking at the instructions at something, it's always good to start at step one. So uh, connect the main plugs 
to a UK socket. Cha-ching. Uh, appliance is now getting hot. Yeah, you got a light. All right. On a completion of the preheating cycle, the audible tone will sound. You are now ready to use the cake maker. Okay, it's then at that point I open it up and then we stick those other ones that we've just taken out in and then we'll get those in there. Suddenly the oven just seems a lot more sensible. All right, so right now I am just waiting for this thing to beep. It's smelling like it's getting hot actually. Uh, a little bit of uh, exciting news is coming. I keep teasing it next few weeks and months. Uh, I will be announcing it. And also I finally want to get rid of all the gadgets in my room. And one thing I'm mulling over is not sort of taking December off, but every day in December going live, like a calendar, but just live, and doing a giveaway um, of a gadget every single day. I'm trying to work out the best way to do that. If that sounds okay, uh, do let me know. But other than that, that's really where I'm thinking with that. And there's a much bigger thing to uh, tell you about, uh, kind of like a, a new chapter, if you will. But uh, all good. And uh, I'm just waiting for this to beep, so I'm just killing the time. Hey, look at that. Oh, whoa, that is hot. Oh my gosh, okay. Boom. Okay, close the appliance and press together for a short while. Okay, short while. Baking time is eight to 10 minutes on completion the buzzer. Right, let's get our other cupcakes in the oven. Said maybe, you're gonna be the cupcake gadget thing that saves me. Then after all, you're going in the shelf. Sorry, mate. I'm not really getting much freshly baked smellage going on right now, and that's from the oven too, so we've got to be fair about this. At the moment, it's kind of like a smell of mystery, of intrigue, of confusion. Well, basically, I'm just waiting for this to beep. I'm, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to live on the edge. I'm not going to go, oh, I'm going to have a peek. No, I don't want to ruin the cooking process. I want to be like, beep, you're ready, we do it. And then on the rack. All right, uh, I'm a little confused because the light has gone out, but there's been no noise yet. But there is a little uh, battle scar. Uh, you can see there, a bit of cake on the side that appears to have been cooked. We just got beepage. Oh my gosh. Ooh, they're all burnt a, a bit, but they are oh, spongy. Look, they're bubbly. Can you see that? Yes, let me just get my ear away from that hot plate and turn this off. Yeah, maybe I put a bit too much batter in because there is a sort of nice crisp lid on it. But hey, it's not burnt, you know, it's charred. That's the way to look at it. Ah, I think, yeah, you're supposed to do that with some uh, spatula or tongs, but I'm feeling dangerous. Uh, if you slightly underfilled it, yeah, that. <laughs> if you slightly underfilled it, you would um, probably miss that burning on the top. But I'm not that bothered about that. It's effectively, I think it's cooked them. There's only one way to find out. And there's no denying they're cupcakes, so let's get the other ones out of there. Oh, wow. The baked cupcakes, uh, no burnt top. Apart from that little one there, it's trying to like escape. They are looking good. Yeah, there's actually a difference in color there, isn't there? Uh, that is dark. I mean, let's ignore the nipple, uh, but that anyway, um, is a lot more probably evenly baked. Maybe it's like a slightly brown top, but eh, a bit of crunch comes with that. It's not, you know, yeah. All right, so all there is now uh, to let these cool down, we'll decorate them and see if there is actually a taste difference between the two. I'm gonna put some Sharpie under the bottom of the ones that we've done in the cupcake machine thing, because if I decorate them and they all look the same, um, I won't actually be able to tell the difference because I'll probably eat on the lid anyway. So. Well, and also because I'm gonna cover uh, the lids. This is some mirror glaze. I saw it in the supermarket. I did get a clip of me getting that. Uh, basically, mirror glaze is quite, not the easiest thing to make, but I wanna dunk all of the cupcakes in it. Uh, so I just wanna see if this works really. Just bung it in the microwave. 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds, basically. It's like melting chocolate. There we go. Nice. So let's do some dunkage. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Let it drip dry. It does say if you put a light frosting on first, you'll get a much smoother finish, but look at that. <laughs> That's gonna cool and set and be shiny. Awesome. All right, so that answers my own question. That <laughs> is why I put Sharpie on the bottom. I actually can't tell which one's which now. Let's try and use my funky... Uh... Oh, I did it again. Oh no. All right.
Folks, something interesting is happening. All right, so there's a batch of six cupcakes, one, two, three, four, five, six, that are holding their icing well. Now there's another batch, one, two, three, four, five, six. Look, where the icing is sliding off. Now I wonder if that's something to do with the heating, uh, the way they were cooked. Maybe the oven holds the heat longer so they're warmer so it's sliding off. I'm right, you know, every single one where the icing is sliding off has come from the oven. So it's probably retaining more of that heat. So it's driven it right into the center. Does that mean that the other ones aren't cooked through? All right, so we've got one of each here. See that? Okay. So this was the one baked in the oven. Looks pretty good. And again, looks pretty good. And there's, there's no real visual difference Ooh, on the cake. The cakes look similar. Slice into it. Oh, nice and squidgy. The other one, a little tougher, just a teeny bit. It's more airy and spongy. But with this one, I think it's, 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 it's more compact. That is more dense. It's kind of turned into more of a loaf. So there is a, there's a slight weighty difference to it as well, but It's good. I mean, it's a cupcake. They're both, they're both gonna be all right. There's no weird stuff going on. There's no like Brussels sprout tea vibe. Please destroy these immediately using fire. Mmm, wow. That is way more noticeable than I thought actually. It is like, um, like a banana bread kind of density but without the moistness. So it's like a, like a loaf. I don't know if it's the way it's cooked, whether it's compound and compact. There's not, cause it's not got that space to rise. I mean, it doesn't, I don't know, maybe maybe that burnt top has stopped it from really giving all that aeration. But it works, it's all right. But I think for me, uh, for the cost of it, the oven's always gonna win. Does it work? Yes, it does. Would it make an amazing Christmas gift? Yeah, I guess, some of you guys were asking me that. Um, yes, it would work for that purpose. I don't think it's something you'd use regularly and I don't think it's going to really save you any time or hassle really or help anyone with a disability in any way uh, in making a cupcake any easier. Um, I preferred the taste of the cupcake one but all in all a pretty fun thing. So as always if you've seen any cool gadgets do let me know. You've been sending me loads of links you found. I've got tons upstairs in the last week. Thanks so much guys. Have a marathon now and follow me on social media. All bits and bobs like that and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three.